everybody welcome to lessons learned behind the chair episode one so here's a lesson that I learned behind the chair this was me personally um, a couple weeks ago I had a guest that was new to me she had been with another stylist before but she was new to me so whenever I have a guest that's new to me there's a couple things that I do and one of them which I ask all my guests are are you happy with what you have going on right now and if not what are the challenges that you're having so the one challenge she was having was that with her previous style, she had been doing some warmer tones in her hair and they were beautiful and she loved them. The one thing she hated was that they didn't last. So she's getting her hair color hair colored about every five weeks. So she is well within the range of um, having gorgeous hair color for that five weeks. So I said, okay, well, before we move on, whenever you sit in my chair, there's questions that are asked and the reason I ask a lot of questions is because I want to know what the root cause is. So my first question to her was, "Are you? what are you using for home care? Are you using Aveda? And she said, no. Okay. I said, are you using something from uh, the drugstore actually? And named a product line from the drugstore and she said, actually, yes, I am using that. And I said, well, I think that may be one of the challenges and probably a pretty big challenge for you. And she said, why is that? And I said, well, that particular product line is known for having silicones in it. And silicones on the hair, once they build up, it doesn't allow color molecules to completely penetrate the hair strand. So I said, the red warmth color that you're having isn't able to get into your hair, for lack of a better word. One analogy that I use for guests so that it's easier for them to understand is imagine your um, hair having a raincoat on it. Only so much can penetrate, and in most cases it doesn't. It kind of gets lodged in the hair cuticle, and it, it washes out very easily. So she said, oh, really? I said, yeah. She said, well, what do you recommend? She went home with Color Conserve shampoo and conditioner that day. Awesome for retail sales, which is always good. But the bonus was is when she came back in, she just came back in actually, um, last week I think so this, this first lesson was about five weeks ago but what was great about it was that we did not do warmth in her hair she decided she wanted to do some more depth so we did and the way I formulated it I'm gonna do a shameless plug here but I formulated based on guidelines from hair color magic essentials 2 and five weeks later I was able to do her new growth and just a gloss, a clear gloss on the ends with Aveda's new Demi Plus because nothing had, she hadn't, she didn't have the fadage that she had had five weeks prior compared to her last appointment. So lesson learned here is one, ask questions because sometimes we assume that people use what we recommend. Lesson number two, for me, in my opinion, I think it's always great to stick with whatever brand you are using for color. So I like, I am an Aveda girl, I use Aveda color, and therefore I recommend Aveda Home Care. I know that our products have been tested with our color, and I know they're gonna give me the best longevity. So that's lesson two. And lesson three is, it's important to ask that it's important it's important to ask those questions it's important for you as a stylist to know what your guest is using and it's important to make sure that your guest understands why that particular home care is best for their hair so education 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 and show them where the value is show them one of my favorite things to say to people is the reason I'm recommending this home care is because I'm protecting your investment from your salon visit today hair color isn't inexpensive right and who wouldn't want to protect that investment so here are my recommendations for you I hope that helps lesson one in the books hope you guys have a great rest of your week